Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and we are playing today with the one and only man to our right Jigsaw. Well, in our right, I mean in game in our right. So anyways, Jigsaw is an absolute beast this season. He's currently at almost, I think he is at 32,000 trophies. Let's check him out. And it, I think it's either Friday or Saturday at the recording at the time of this recording. I'm not too sure. And he already has 32,000. So he's going for the record right now, which is 36,000 trophies. Um, I think someone else might actually beat him this season, but he is going to break the previous record for sure. Jigsaw is an absolute beast. But with that being said, today what we're going to be doing is playing with him and seeing what we can do playing with the number three player in the world. So with that being said, Jig, he's an absolute beast. I'm going to drop his Twitter down below. Make sure you guys go follow him and check him out. I told all of you guys that you guys should be getting Twitter if you guys want to follow what's the up-to-date news with Brawl Stars and if you guys want to get into the pro scene. And there is no better way by following other pros such as Jigsaw. So definitely make sure you guys slap him a follow. But anyways, with that being said, let's hop into some games and let's show you guys what playing with the number three player in the world looks like. Okay, so here we go into the first game here. We're going to be going against a Poco. I saw a Crow and I don't know what the third was. Anyways, so when you're playing with someone who's number three in the world and they are ladder pushing, some of you guys want to do is get really fast, efficient wins. So we're going to be trying to basically 10-0 every game and just absolutely shred through teams over here. So let's just go on this right side. We're going to be able to get really easy shots over here on the penny. Going to be a really easy kill for us. So we're just going to be chilling up in this grass holding position. Jig's going to be in mid. So obviously there's a lot better brawlers to mid with than Jesse. But Jesse is Jig's la or second last 500 brawler that he, or not 500, sorry, 800 brawler that he has. The rest of them are 1,000 or at least 900. So we're going to put the barrel. Obviously this is the currently, this is the current best gadget in the game. So you guys obviously want to be using it. I don't know where my bear is going to go. Doesn't matter. We're just going to let our bear be and just hold over here. Is our bear still alive? He's just chasing this Poco down. I'm going to let Jig get that gem because you guys know. Oh, we're, oh, oh, I tried to stun. I forgot you have to be in distance. Anyways, our bear is finally going to go down, but we're going to be able to get another one anyways. He's going to be able to take out that crow, and it's going to be an 8 to nothing lead for us right now. So we should be able to have this game in the bag. Currently 9 to nothing. Um, as I said, you guys want to get as fast and efficient wins as possible, and that's exactly what we're doing here. So Jig's going to be able to get that 10th gem. And it looks like we're just going to be able to run this one down. It's only going to be a Poco over here. And I don't think a Poco is going to do anything to us. So we're just going to run away. And this one is going to be our first win. It's going to be an 11-0 win. Basically as fast as you can get it. So that being said, easy dubs. Let's hop into the second game and let's see what else we can do. And let's see if we can keep up these fast dubs. So going into the next game here, we're going to be going up against M's, Rosa, and something else. Um, what is this something else? It's gonna be a penny. Okay, so that's a really good comp. So Rose is gonna have all this grass over here. Something we gotta do is kind of just stay back and work our way up this game that Rosa definitely has really good positioning on us. So we're gonna try and just get our bear basically and use our stun to get kills. So we're able to push up. Really good help over there by Jig. Hopefully I can get the penny. Jig's gonna be able to get it. Now all this grass is connected, so it's gonna be a little bit hard for us, but we're able to get the original kill over there. The first kill on lane. So Rose is going to try coming down our lane now, but we're going to have Bear by the time she's here, which is good. She's going to end up going left to where Ali has already connected some grass. Rose is probably the best lane on this map, Rosa and Nita. By the way, just it is a new map, or a returning map, so if a lot of you guys haven't played it yet, you guys want to know, these are the best two lanes here. Spike is also a really good lane, or Barley if you're good at throwers. But anyways, we have really good position. Once you have position on this map, it's pretty easy, especially with the gadgets. So we're going to throw this down. We're just going to wait for the Rosa to get in range of this gadget, and then we're going to pop it. Oh, we missed it over there. Got to help Jig, though. Okay, Ali's over there, so we should be fine. Got to try and move up over here. We are close to the M's. So we're going to try and get our bear again. We might go down. We're not going to. There should be an M's over here. It's currently 7-5, to five, so it is a really close game at the moment. Oh, that's not good. Jig walks right up to the M's and he's going to survive. No, he's going to go down. I currently have my stun, so I'm going to throw my bear out just in case. Going to pick up all the gems that are down here. We're going to have 10 total as a team, but I think Ali might go down over there. Not sure. Going to throw my bear down. Going to get a double stun, which is really good. And we're going to be able to push two of them back. So we got to be careful of an M's because the M's is like the best brawler at resetting games. So we just got to keep our distance. We're not going to be able to, and we're going to go down. M's is an absolute killer at the end of games. It's like impossible to run away from it. Ali's going to pop her super over there. I'm going to throw out this bear and try and just shoot at this uh, Rosa over here. Try and keep the Rosa away because Rosa obviously is another brawler that can really push you into a corner. 
Gonna be able to continuously top it, gonna be able to get that kill. And I'm just gonna push the M's. There's no way the M's is gonna be able to do anything. And that is going to be the end of the second game. So this is a really good second game. Very competitive. The other team was pretty good. Okay, 850 trophies. That does explain a lot. Let's head into the next game. Hopefully we can get another dub. Let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into the next game over here. We're gonna be into the third one. So I didn't see what we're facing. Penny, Mortis, and Poco. So like you can already see it's not really a high damage comp. It's mostly a control comp. And like Mortis kind of just dashing in. I'm trying to hold control and be annoying with Penny and Poco heal. So this one should be a pretty easy one for us as we have a really good control comp. So we're going to be able to get Bear shortly. I'm going to show you guys a trick over here. So I'm going to move to the bottom. I'm going to throw my Bear to the very back of the map. Now hopefully it doesn't go on too much of an adventure, but basically what we're trying to go for, we're going for this, is we're going to try and get a couple hits before my bear actually comes up into relevance. So let's see if we can get this kill. So unfortunately it didn't work out over here because we already killed everybody. But basically what happens is you guys can see my bear just died and I already have another bear. So I can just pop this one out, get the stun, and be able to get easy kills because I'm able to apply a lot of really good pressure. So we're going to be able to get another kill over there. We're going to stun this uh, Poco. Almost be able to kill it. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to. I'm going to just throw a bear on this penny and stun it. The bear is going to do a little bit of damage and back them up. Ali's going to be hit by a bunch of coin splash. And we're also going to go down. So that Mortis, very sneaky play by him. A little bit of shakes by me um, to Ali for a little bit of BM. But anyways, we got to just find this Mortis and get that kill. Try not to stand too much in front of Jig because I don't want to be able to just take him out. This Mortis is definitely sneaking somewhere. We really have no clue where gonna throw this bear down unfortunately we don't have stun anymore so the bear isn't nearly as useful as it could be but it's obviously still god tier mortis is going to make a play he's gonna go down mortis is always do that if you mortises end up getting kills and end up getting gems please don't just dive in randomly again because it's not gonna work i see mortises do that a lot they actually make a really good play and then they spoil their really good play by going for another play that's never gonna work out and they end up losing all the gems. So that's basically what happened there. Make sure you guys go, don't do that. But anyways, that's going to be another game over there. Another win. Let's hop into the fourth game and let's see if we can get some more dubs. Okay, so here we go into the next game over here. We're going to be going up against Rosa Jesse, And I believe it was a Sandy. So Jigsaw is finally going to get that even Jesse on Jesse matchup. Oh, we're going to be laying with the Rosa again. Well, again. Maybe this is the first time. I don't know. I've been playing this map for a little bit now. So let's see where the Rosa is. Obviously, we don't have the HP advantage or the damage advantage. So we really have to take our time with the Rosa. We got really lucky over there that Jig is really good at pinching brawlers. But we're able to get our bear. And basically, what you'd want to do against the Rosa is wait until you get bear. So we're just going to throw it basically right on its face. Stun it. Get some free shots. Back him up. And we're basically at our next bear already. So we're going to just try and keep the Rosa tap. Try not to let it get fully regen. The only time when you can is when you're going to throw a bear on it. So right here, going to throw another bear. It's not going to go on the Rosa because the Rosa is going to go up against Ali, but that's fine. We're going to be able to take out the Jesse with our uh, with our stuns. We're going to be able to pick up this gem, and it's going to be 8 to nothing. So really good start over here to our fourth game. It's going to be 9 to nothing. We're going to try and get this Rosa tapped really early. It's given up. It said, okay, GG's, Bobby. You guys are way too good. <laughs> but no, that's going to be the end of this game most likely. They do have a Rosa, so they could get really good pressure going. I'm going to keep my last stun for the Rosa. Throw it right on it. Get some taps over there. Not even give the Rosa a chance. And that's going to be it for the fourth game. So we're going to do one more game here. This one's going to give me my 500 Nita. And as well, give Jigsaw his... Uh, not 500, I meant 900 Nita. And give Jigsaw his 900 Jesse. So let's hop into our last game. And let's see if we can go 5-0 on the video. Okay, so here we go into our last game. We're going to be playing as Rosa Leon and G... Or we're going to be playing against Rosa Leon and Jean. Sorry. So we're going to grab this right side just because we've been here the whole time. We got the Leon on our lane. Don't want to get too close to a Leon because you guys know it does a ton of damage from up close. Okay, good job by Jigsaw by shooting down the lanes. If you're a lane, if you're a mid on this map, help out your lanes because it's really easy to help out and it would actually help a ton. So we got the Leon pretty low. We're gonna go over here and just help Jig try and get that gene. We're gonna be able to. Hopefully the stun will get that Leon over there and we're gonna be able to get the kill. So the bear is gonna be moving towards the. Um, the Rosa, it's going to do a little bit of work, but not too, too much. So we are close to our bear. I believe we're two hits away. Looks like this Leon is thinking about going invisible. I'm going to go really aggro over here and try and get the bear on the gene so we can take the gems. Currently, it's not working out. Five to three, so we're doing a pretty good job. 
Oh, as I say that, Leon gets that successful sneak on. I'm going to throw this on. Oh, we just missed the stun. Pretty unfortunate. So we got seven gems right now, so it's still looking pretty good for us, though. We just don't want to get pulled by that Jean over there for very obvious reasons. So Jean's going to be sneaking up on that left side. He does have his pull. He's saving it. He's going to be going for a game-winning pull over here. Me and Jig are going to group up because we have no clue where this Leon is. It's a really good play to do is if you don't know where an invisible brawler is, just group up with somebody because usually a brawler can't 2v1 that goes invisible. Anyways, Ali's going to go down. We're going to pick up that last gem. We might be... Okay, we're able to stay alive over there. I'm going to pick up this ninth gem over here. I'm just going to pick up this 10th. Oh, there we go. Pick up the 10th and run away. So we're going to try and stay back because it's kind of scary. We don't want to be snuck on. And a Rosa can hit us. And a Jean can pull us. There's a lot of ways we can lose this. But anyways, we're chilling over here. We're doing a pretty good job. Got to stay away from that Jean. We're going to have to take a few shots from Rosa. It doesn't matter. We're going to be able to get that kill. And that is going to be it for the fifth game. So at 900 trophies, we're able to go 5-0 and and get the dub. So GG's to Jake. Remember, follow him on Twitter. God tier pro player. Super good. Big. He's a fan of the channel. He was an original sub. I know a lot of you originals do know who Jig is and absolutely love him. So anyways, GG's is going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. I will be back again tomorrow with some good gameplay. Let me know what you guys want to see. But until then, I'll see you guys. Until then, I'll see you guys then. It doesn't sound right. But anyways, I'll see you guys then. Peace out. See you guys tomorrow.